So now that I have a nice color scheme for my web page, how do I change the background and the text color and the link color on my web page? Well, let me show you how. First of all, I want to show you that I actually I have a little color swatch file that I've kept in my coming soon folder here. I'm just keeping it there. I don't actually need this for my web page, but it's just I'm finding it handy to keep that reference file, that little reference card inside my folder for the time being so I don't lose it. So I'm just going to tuck that over there. I'm going to have a look at that. And then what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll open up text Wrangler. Let's just tuck this over. Right, let's see if we've got enough room to do this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so what we want to do, let's start with, hmm, let's start with the background color. That sounds like a good idea. And if we have a look at what we're aiming for here, when I'm talking about the background color, I'm talking about this, this big background color right here. And, uh, and I, I'm looking for kind of a dark burgundy for that. So let's take a look at our our color swatch here. And that looks like it corresponds to probably this color right here, this dark brown or dark burgundy right here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go to Text Wrangler. And in order to do this, this is something that affects the entire page. So we put this in the body, um, the, the, the body selector. And I'm going to, on the next line, I'm going to say, background color. We've seen this before when I was giving you an example of what, what attributes and values look like in CSS. Background color. And now instead of writing red, okay, that, that's not accurate enough. We're actually going to put the hexadecimal number in here. And the hexadecimal number is that number that starts with a hashtag. So ha hashtag or number sign. And I'm going to type out 360. And you do this carefully because it's easy to make a mistake. 518. Um, so I'll save that. And let's see what we have here. If I, if I go ahead and reload this, there we go. We've changed the background color. It looks like the right color to me. But of course, you know, what's evident now is that now we can't read this text because the text is in black. Um, the color, the, the text here seems to be white. So we need to change the color of that text to white. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to this is something that I want to change on the entire text, the text for the entire body. So this is something I can put in the body tag as well. And this is the interesting thing because you're going to start to have to make decisions as to where you're going to put different attributes. You can put them in various selectors. Um, um, and in this case, I mean, I could put it in the H1 selector and the P selector and anything else, but that's a whole lot of repetition. I, I want to kind of be, I don't know, I guess I don't want to have to repeat the same code too many times. I know that if I put this code in the body, it's going to affect all the text for the entire page. That makes me happy. So I'm going to go ahead and type color. And just the word color is the attribute you use when you just want to change the color of text. You know, I guess, you know, the gods of CSS might have been doing us, you know, they, they might have thought they were doing us a favor by having us type less, but I would have preferred that to be called text color. But, hey, it's neither here nor there. Um, so what's the code for, for, for white? Because um, we don't actually have white here. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you it's number sign FFFFFF. That's the hexadecimal symbol for white. You could also just type out the word white if you'd like. Um, but I, I'm just I'm just practicing my hexadecimal. So let's go ahead and save that and let's see, let's reload this and see. Hey, there we go. Starting to look good, eh? Okay. Um, what's the next thing we want to do? Um, let's take a look. See the links here? These these links down here, that's a different color. That looks like a, a lighter blue than what we currently have here. It's very, very subtle. Um, if you can't tell, don't worry about it. But I just want to show you, let's say you wanted to change the color of links. Let's go to our text wrangler. Let's have a look at our preview. We actually, links being a b blue color is not a bad idea. Uh, because, you know, pe people are used to that. It is kind of a web convention. Um, but here's the thing, you don't have to stick with exactly the same shade of blue, do you? And we have a shade of blue in our palette here. So we, I think it would look really elegant if we just tweak the shade of blue to match our color scheme. I mean, maybe it's a bit overkill, but this is good practice. So if we want to affect links, we need a different selector. It's still an HTML selector. And what selector do you think you're going to put in here? So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to call it, oops, there we go, mystery selector. That's not actually the name. Uh, we're going to figure out what that is in a second. And we figured that that's just going to be color. And we'll put the hexadecimal code for blue in there, HB7EF0. And I put a semicolon at the end. And I'm just caught getting that number right there from this right here. And by the way, uh, this is actually 
not case sensitive, but I, I like doing everything in lowercase. It just keeps things nice and easy. I don't have to think that way. So EB7EF0, okay. And then don't forget to close your curly bracket. So what is the selector that you're going to put there? Well, the hint is we're, it's an HTML selector and we want it to affect what? We want it to affect the links. And what's the tag for a link? The tag for a link is just A. You know, all this other stuff, that's not, that's not really part of the tag that well. It's sort of part of the tag. It's really just the attribute value pair. We don't worry about that. We just care about A. So whenever you want to affect links in CSS, you just type A. And that indicates that the, the, H, the, the HTML A selector, okay, just will affect anything that is within those, those, those A tags right there. And let me prove it to you. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to go back to Google Chrome. I'm going to reload. Now keep a close eye on the links. It's going to be a subtle change, but you'll notice it. There we go. See how it just brightens it up? And now it's just, it's coming together. It's actually starting to look, oh, that's still not there yet, but it's starting to look like a web page. Hey. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's all I have for this screencast. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to see you next time.